Hello everyone, it's Joel Piccolo here with uh, Godwin & Stone Brokerage. I hope you are staying well and making sure that you are keeping it stupid simple. For today, we're going over the purchase agreement and why as a seller or buyer, you need to be aware of what it says. By signing this document, you are making a legal promise to buy or sell a property. I say promise because sometimes promises can be broken. Let's go over this document today and see what we can learn. So this section is for listing agents and buyer's agents. This goes over the property description. This goes over what stays with the property. If you want something specific to stay with the property, make sure to include it right here. If you, saw, if you want something to not stay with the property, write it right here. Mineral rights. Um, what is in the ground? So make sure that you put 0% and not 100% because you don't want the seller to maintain mineral rights after you purchase the property. Price. Uh, what are you going to buy for? Act of sale. When are you going to close? Typically 30 to 45 days. Contingency. Do you need to sell your previous property to buy another? All cash are financed. Have you spoken to a lender? How much are you putting as a down payment? Interest rate. How many years? Typically 30 years or 15. What kind of loan? Uh, discount points. So basically what discount points is, is that you are paying to lower your interest rate. Other financing conditions. Um, are you going to request the seller to pay some or if not all your closing costs? Calendar days. So um, after you get the loan um, or after you go on your contract, you have to not only show the seller that you've started the loan process, but you are continuing after you go under contract. Proration, appraisal. So this is what the bank thinks the property's worth. Deposit. So after you have an accepted contract, you have 72 hours to uh, turn in your deposit. Um, now you could have your deposit go to a third party, it could be the title company or the brokerage, whoever. Return of the deposit, so if you cancel the agreement. Leases and special assessments, if you're buying a multifamily, what do the leases look like? New home construction, inspection and due diligence period, making sure that you're not getting over your head. Typically, you're going to see 12 to 15 days for this because you're really getting down and you're inspecting everything. This goes over what happens when you find something wrong or if you want to continue on the purchase private water sewage typically you see that in like Jefferson Parish or um, Hammonds places like that home service warranty I recommend this to all buyers because you never know what's going to happen after you purchase a property warranty as is all sales are as is without warranties merchantable title you want to make sure that the seller can actually sell the property final walkthrough making sure everything looks good Default to the agreement by seller, what uh, what the buyer can do if the seller defaults, and also what the seller can do if the buyer defaults. Mold related hazards, um, sex offenders, where to go, flood hazard information, choices of law, deadlines, time is of the essence, additional terms and conditions. This is where if you want to like make sure that the condo association you're getting the right correct documents something like that something extra that's not in the purchase agreement roles of the broker and designated agents different kind of addendas that are being attached so you see private water deposit singular and plural use acceptance notices and other communications and this is basically how you want to communicate this is a contract legally and binding and this is the entire agreement expiration of offer right here so you want to tell the seller like hey once this deadline hits my offer is no longer valid and the seller can note if they accept reject or counter so yeah everybody that is a purchase agreement thank you everyone who watched my video i hope you learned something new and if there are any subjects you would like for me to cover then comment below this video if you can do me a huge huge favor please like this video share it to your friends and family it really does go a long way and encourages me to keep making content this is Joel Piccolo with Godwin and Stone Brokerage and keep it stupid simple